if I can get this right. Hold on. <laughs> I ain't gonna look right that way. Okay. All right. Um, this video here, we're gonna talk about what you said in the title about this character that um, Wes Craven has created called The Shocker back in 1989. Um, Craven created an interesting character. I mean, this is, this Freddy Krueger is still popular at the time because he's the guy behind the uh, Nine on Elm Street franchise. And he just thought he'd make a character that would rival uh, Freddy Krueger. Um, unfortunately, this character didn't take off it only had one movie. A sequel was planned, but it was dropped. And um, but I, but I was even gonna explain to him um, on who he was, on um, his powers, and all that, without giving spoilers to the movie. In case you want to check it out yourself, which would be great. Uh, his name is Horace Pinker. He was a high-profile serial killer. And uh, he was eventually caught and uh, hit the sirens. <laughs> he was eventually caught. And, but before that, he, he dabbed into some type of voodoo shit that allowed him to not die, basically. So anyways, it gives him these powers where he can transfer through people's bodies and shit like that, killing the hoax, host of the body. I guess if they have a matter of high will, they can fight them off a little bit. It could come to and fight them off and shit like that. But most of the people, unfortunately, didn't have high will. So, so once he entered their body, that was it. Uh, but it wasn't it wasn't hopeless. It wasn't fucking hopeless. I mean, if, if you save them soon enough, if you get Pinker out of the person's body in a certain amount of time, they will, they will survive. You know. The bane about Pinker's powers is that he can't stay in a body forever. He has to eventually leave that body and go into another. I think he could live up to like a day maybe. At least a day, 24 hours give or take, and he has to hop into another body. That's the bane of his powers, <laughs> that he can't stay in a body too long. Uh, hold on, let me backtrack. I think I, I think I was incorrect about something. I don't think the host dies unless Pinker kills them. Because if Pinker kills himself, quote unquote, or the body that he's in, the host is definitely going to die. But I think it, I think he just hold on, wait, wait, wait. I ain't seen a movie in a while. This is coming back to me. Um, he could stay in that body as long as he wants. This is is it, if he's outside the body, he's going to have to find another body. If he doesn't, he'll die. Because I'm taking that life force of that body is is his life force. Because this because once he was executed. He, he lost his original body, so he had to sh sh jump to different bodies and shit like that. That's why he could survive as long as he as he wants in, in your body. It's his choice to jump out unless he's forced out by this mystical uh, powers that the protagonist got a hold of in the movie. It's like a necklace or something like that. That He'll be forced out of the body if you throw it on him, something like that. He, I think a necklace hurts him, like this divine power and shit. So he has to get out that body and jump into another one because if he doesn't, like I said, he, he's going to die. Sorry, I was incorrect <laughs> in the first part. Uh, yeah, the host is fine as long as he doesn't kill him. As long as he doesn't like, kill himself. So, so yeah, so Shocker, he's called a Shocker. Why is he called that? He he. First off, he doesn't have electricity that he shoots out and shit. He doesn't have that. He's called a shocker because he relies on electricity for transportation. Case in point, 
he can um, go through um, electrical sockets, travel through that to, 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 to get around and shit like that. He can try, he can go into the television set and, and live in that, live in the circus and shit like that until he finds another body, shit like that. Uh, yeah, the movie was pretty good. The concept was good. His character, and his background is never explained. It's speculate on what he was prior to um, becoming a serial killer. Um, I'm not going to really go into detail in case you want to check out the movie. I'm not going to fucking spoil it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it just, that's just speculation on who, on who he may have been, but his background is not really, it's not explained at all. It was probably going to do, if they came out with a sequel, they was probably going to give him a background in that, but they didn't. So, so yeah, uh, the shocker is, is basically it. That's. Electricity is gives him his gives him his uh, immortality and shit like that. Uh, so that's pretty much it about Horace Pinker the Shocker. It's uh, I, like I said, I don't want to spoil the movie. So it, <laughs> that's basically on who he is and what his powers is, shit like that. You know. So, but but what makes him dangerous is that he is a serial killer and shit. You know. Even though he's now a shocker, quote unquote, it's like he's not gonna fucking have a change of mind. Oh, I'm not gonna be killing anymore, you know. No, he's gonna fucking do it more and more and more, you know. And he has, he has, he doesn't care about. He has no conscience. He doesn't care about anybody. So that makes him super dangerous. And that's too bad they never came out with a sequel. <laughs> they was talking about about a couple of years back. They was talking about uh, making the, another shocker film. Either it's going to be a sequel or a remake, likely be a fucking remake. But if they did make a remake, I would definitely want to see it. If they made a sequel, definitely. Uh, but I don't think so. The original actor that played Horace Pinker, or, the, or AKA The Shocker, said if they make a sequel, he he would like to be in as a cameo, at least. <laughs> you know, because he can't, you know, he's too old now. He can't play the character anymore, you know, so he said he'll left, he'll definitely like to be a cameo maybe a, maybe a fucking person that's like a fucking garbage man or some shit <laughs> have one, maybe one or two lines how you doing miss, thank you, have a good day, you know <laughs> shit like that I, I mean, that's the least they can do, you know what I'm saying he ain't asking for much, he ain't, he ain't trying to be an, a, another actor in a film or a sad character, shit like that, or you know what I'm saying? He just want a cameo. That's all he asks. So I say give it to him. I mean, the man deserves that much, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the character, an actor that played the Shocker, I, I feel he's underrated as fuck in Hollywood. I mean, he's played different roles. He played, he played a role in the X-Files films, uh, if you remember that. He was a serious, headstrong, uh, high-ranking detective. Uh, he played, he also appeared, I say as a cameo, and uh, Eddie Murphy's a Vampire in Brooklyn. He was in it, he played like a mob boss, or a hitman or some shit. He was in a, it was a small part in the movie he was in. Um, uh, shit, I think I've seen him appear in a couple other films I can't think of right now, but he's a versatile actor. He can be like any character. He's on that fucking... Uh, What's that guy's name? They played in. He got his start in, and uh, ironically, he got his start in uh, the first um, Nightmare on Elm Street film, Johnny Depp. He's like a Johnny Depp. He can. He's like a fucking chameleon. I, I, see, that's the thing about a lot. Of, a lot of actors can't can't do that. They can't like they they, they play one role, they that role. They play another role, they that role. It, 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 they're few and far between, unfortunately. So a lot of actors, they they tend to be the same in every movie. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's like the average act. They tend to be the same person, into that different per person playing it as a different person. So, and I felt that Heath Ledger, unfortunately, before he passed, I felt that he was gonna fucking blow up big time. Because I'm not a fan of of his Joker, and you know, I like the fucking Jack Nicholson Joker, but. 
if you look past that, his performance was fucking spot on. It was great. He was this dark, brooding ass character. In another movie, he played as a fucking, you know, just an average Joe. You know what I'm saying? And and it, he was two different, different, completely different people in those roles. And I, it's, I think it's hard to find an actor like that, that that's like a fucking chameleon. And the dude that played Shocker, he was he was definitely one. Even his voice would change as to complement his character and shit. Like, yeah, yeah, he all shit. Man. That's like he was like Rah! as a Shocker and shit. But as a detective in X Files, he's like, "How you doing? My name is Detective Matthews." You know, he's all calm and collected and shit like that. It's like every even the character of Vampire Brooklyn, his tone of his voice, the way he spoke was different. You know what I'm saying? A, a character, a person, an actor that can do that today that I'm thinking of right now on top of my head is Terrence Howard. He can do that too. He can he can chameleon himself. He we, if you want to play a gangster, he's a fucking gangster. You want to play a cop, an upstanding cop, he's an upstanding cop. Terrence Howard can do it. And like I said, those type of actors are hard to come by. You know what I'm saying? So that's it for this video. This this little information about the shock. I went on a tangent. Oh, well, that's what I tend to do when I do these vlogs. And I just thought I'd add another video to my uh, movies list. You know, it's been a while since I talk about movies because it's basically a gaming channel. Let's be honest here. That's why I haven't really done any movie related shit or clips, movie clips and shit like that. But so I just thought I'd just do something different. Um, cause I am a versatile person. My channel is versatile, variety and shit. So that's that. That's the shocker for you. Uh, if you're interested to check it out, 1989 film by Wes Craven, you know, maybe we'll see another one. We'll see. Cause they remaking everything else. Shit. Why the fuck not shocker? Right. I mean, shit. Another movie that I like well was face off or well, among my favorite nineties, I think it was kind of 97. Among my favorite action films ever. They talk about they was talking about making a remake of that. Shit, you know, that's all they doing today anyway. You know what I'm saying? That's all they ain't even fucking them is remaking shit. So that's Hollywood for you. So with that being said, why crumbles on sign the fuck out. Peace and love. Good health to you all. And be safe out there. Peace. I'm out. <laughs>